Jersey Beaters drop. And Cinderella teams emerge in riveting second and third round action. Experience it live at the 2013 NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Tournament. March 22nd and 24th at Sprint Center in Kansas City, Missouri. All session tickets start at $198. Visit NCAA.com slash MBB tickets to make a date with champions. Today's Missouri Valley Conference legend is Evansville's Arid McCutcheon. A native of Evansville, Indiana, McCutcheon is regarded as the father of UE sports. He served as the basketball coach, assistant track and football coach, and math professor during his 34-year tenure. He was the first college division coach inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 1980. McCutcheon recorded 514 wins at UE, captured five NCAA Division national titles, and was inducted into the NBC Hall of Fame in 2004. Back at Evansville at the Ford Center, this great building is the Aces lead by nine points over Indiana State. Great crowd here on Senior Day. They are supportive of this program and have been for a century. Coach Marty Simmons. Our community is what supports our basketball program. They have for 100 years. And the relationships that you build with those fans, those people that are in the Evansville community, are really relationships that last for a lifetime. So, uh, you know, you, you look back to when you were a freshman and, and you thought you would never get to this day. Now that you're here, it's where did it go? And But, but I think the unique thing about Evansville, again, is the relationship that our players, that our seniors have with our fans. Evansville coach Marty Simmons, Rich Savosic, you had a chance to talk to him at length this morning. Well, and, and a guy who understands this community better than most is Marty Simmons because he played here. He experienced it as a player. Here comes one of the great players in program history, Cold Ryan on senior day. Inside, Muscovich is with the miss. Odom gets the rebound. Odom will take it in and miss. And the scramble for it. Ryan has it, and a foul is called. What does this mean the foul. <laughs> to both teams? They're going after it hard. Cole Ryan getting on the floor. Indiana State diving on top. Gant was on his back. He just sort of flipped him over. He got back up. There's a tough coach right there, Greg Lansing. This team won't be an easy out either, as they've proven at Arch Madness. These teams will be playing on Friday during quarterfinal day. Four games in one day at Scott Trade Center. Two games the night before. Thursday night as Ryan makes the free throw. Couple semifinal games Saturday in the championship on Sunday. Ryan, a 90% free throw shooter, makes them both. Evansville up by double digits. Smith for three, no. Skying for the rebound was Ryan, couldn't get it. And pulled down for Indiana State to Odom with the three. three points. Best time to shoot a three-point shot after an offensive rebound. Odom buries it. This is Wing with it, back to Ryan. He's guarded by Brown. Fadeaway won't go. Odom, they find him every time. The handoff and the three. The dish to Mahurin who drains it. Jake Odom with a three and then an assist on another to draw the Sycamores within five. They talk about it, calling this a flea flicker in football. Why not doing it in basketball? Odom knowing where his best shooter is on the court sets a nice little screen as a toss back. Just in case anybody was wondering, 
why we would pick him right away in a pickup game. One of the first players off the line. Today's Missouri Valley Conference Scholar Athlete of the Game is Indiana State's Kobe Kramer, a senior infielder from Terre Haute. Kramer batted 262 with 10 doubles, three triples, two home runs, and 34 RBIs for the 2012 regular season champions in the Valley. A two-time first-team NBC Scholar Athlete choice, Kramer has a 3.94 cumulative GPA in physical education exercise science. Scored 41 runs for the Sycamores. Congratulations to Kobe Kramer. Indiana State has climbed to within five here. Down by 11 just moments ago. Here's Ballantyne, open from the free throw line short. Odom, little showtime back the other way and a collision with Ned Cox. Foul is called, one-on-one on one opportunity for Jake. Two, Ned Cox. That's his second personal, the team's ninth. That's two on Ned Cox. Jake Odom from right there in Terre Haute, Indiana. Has had some career, he's a junior. Makes the free throw, not only, as we mentioned earlier, eighth player in Indiana State history to reach the 1,000 point mark in his junior season. He's already seventh all time in assists. And he has, in these last 10 games, reached double figures in scoring in each of them. He's about to do it again, right there. In the ball game for Indiana State number 22, Brandon Burnett. Now we talked about it earlier. Who's going to step up and fill the void left by Manny Arock today? Jake Odom is doing his part. Now the question is, is there somebody else that's going to be able to step up? Could it be Mahern? Eight-oh run by Indiana State, fueled by Odom. Nelson hits the three for Evansville. What's an end to that run? He is a lesson to all young players. Didn't get a chance to play a lot early. He worked and he worked and he practiced hard. And when he got his opportunity, he's made the most of it. Burnett runs into trouble. Throws a line drive shot that misses. Ryan tries to get around the defender and can't get around Brown. A foul. Nelson doing an excellent job moving without the basketball and getting his feet set. He is automatic. That's his first. That's a nice release. At the line for Evansville. On a rise on the shot. Good player, sophomore. Cold Ryan has nine points to lead the Aces. Eleven for Jake Odom. These two players that we highlighted at the beginning of the afternoon will be putting on a show for you today. Wild card weekend, two teams that need this win. Indiana State probably more than Evansville, but for emotional reasons, Evansville certainly would love to have it, and the winner has a shot at that number three seed in the Valley Tournament. Ryan, he hardly ever misses a free throw. Now both teams looking for win number 10 in the conference. And for Evansville, that'll be the first 10-win conference season since 99, and Indiana State will only be, it'll be only their ninth in 36 years in the Valley. And a great screen and roll by Mahurin. Smith with the delivery. Evansville lead is six. Mahurin right now is seven. Here they come again, Odom. As the height advantage goes right around Nelson and scores. Jake Odom is trying to keep Indiana State in this game, and he's been successful doing it. Great recognition on the offensive end by his teammates, spreading the floor, understanding he had the advantage. This play had to bring a smile to Coach Lansing's face because they worked on this in the shoot-around. Drive the defender up the lane, it was done. And then watch them space the floor to give Odom a driving lane and take advantage of his size over his defender. Nelson. 
Johnson cutting in. And it'll go back to Indiana State. Stay tuned for our halftime report. Presentation of State Farm Insurance for auto, home, life, and banking. Get to a better state. Odom talks over the plan with Lucas Idle, who has the ball now. Smith inside to Odom, the kick out, and Mahern can't get it this time. Nelson with the shot fake. An opening, and he hits the bucket. Nelson! Nelson has eight points. Smith driving in. He'll score. Back and forth they go here in the first half at the Ford Center. Ryan with a toss inside. That one won't go. Odom has it. Look out here. Odom scores. Two-point game. Jake Odom. Give him 15 points here in the first half. Valentine's pass. Fought for and recovered by Ryan. Nelson along three. Nelson with 11. A scoring display here in the first half. And a timeout is called with 2.35 to go. Wow. Jordan Nelson, we talked about Colt Ryan in senior day. How about the uh, scintillating sophomore filling it up? It's a career high in points for him already. 11 points. Previous was 10. You can see it on the scrum. The kick out. Nelson not shy as he's about three feet behind the line. He's feeling it. He's locked in. Well, he didn't even look over at his teammate. Just pointed. Well, he hit his previous shot off the dribble. He's got his confidence at an all-time high. Perfect from the floor. Career high in points. The sophomore is tied for the team lead in points with Cole Ryan this afternoon. Tom, that's the mark of an excellent coach. When you can take a guy who has practiced hard all year and kept his confidence up, and all of a sudden, at the end of the season, he's playing important minutes for you. Kudos to Marty Simmons. And bringing in Jordan Nelson. Smith, he hits the shot. They'll give him two there. Three-point game. Cold Ryan guarded by Lucas Idle with the shot clock at 10. Ryan comes off the screen. And inside for two. Jalen Moore. Very unselfish play by Colt Ryan. He recognized the mismatch, and he delivered it. Cummings, he'll take a three, no. And the rebound to Moore. Here's Ryan. Floats one into Moore, no. Cummings back the other way. He'll jam it. Cummings. Back and forth they go in the valley. Glad to entertain you on this Saturday afternoon. Oh, 
We head into the evening. Plenty of action in the Valley today. Already a great one in Omaha. And we have another good one here in Evansville as Indiana State and Evansville play a tight game at the Ford Center. First half. Do you know what it means to have someone's back? To have another life depend on you and only you? Where your vision, your defense, your support is the very thing that is the difference in their life or death. This feeling is known in the truest form by those that willingly protect you and me every day. In the military, got your six means I've got your back. They've got our six. It's time we got theirs. Through jobs, education, housing, and more. We can support returning military veterans and their families. To find out more information, go to gotyoursix.org. They've got our six. Now it's time that we have theirs. I've got your six. 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 Senior day in Evansville. Those fans rooting on Ned Cox, Cole Ryan, and the four other seniors playing their final game here in Evansville. The Larry Bird Trophy given annually to the Missouri Valley Conference's outstanding men's basketball player. Emerson is excited to be the proud presenting partner for this year's award. Visit NBCSports.com to learn more. Emerson, consider it solved. With Rich Zavosik, Tom Ackerman, Niles Media Group, our great crew here, members of the Missouri Valley Conference in the house, over 50 former Evansville players here watching their program, and six seniors playing on their final day. But Jake Odom continues to score to keep Indiana State in this game. Now a chance to possibly take the lead before half if they can hold Evansville here. Odom with 17 points for the Sycamores. Cold Ryan working on Brown. Collision, whistle. And an offensive foul call. When the MVC TV network takes its cameras on the road, it considers these properties its home away from home. These hotels consistently support the MVC TV network. Please call or visit the websites of these properties when making plans to follow your favorite team away from home. Nine seconds on the clock. Indiana State, a chance to take the lead. Sycamores were down by 11 in this first half. Odom. Two seconds. Can't get it to go, and Evansville with a one-point advantage at the break. What a half of basketball between these two. We'll be checking in with the coach, Marty Simmons, momentarily. Sponsored by St. Charles Convention and Visitors Bureau. Their plans for the second half. Rick Savosa. Coach, Jordan Nelson gave you a great lift off the bench. What did you 
to get him going on the offensive end? He has that ability. I mean, he's a great shooter. I thought he really cut well in the half-court offense. Made some big shots for us. Jake Odom was 17 in the first half. What adjustments will you make in the second half to try and slow him down? Got to do a better job getting back in transition. We're just jogging with guys back. Got to get back, get set. We got to get better help to him. Got to do a better job of guarding him on the ball. Thanks, Coach. Our chat with the coaches brought to you by the St. Charles, Missouri Convention and Visitors Bureau. When making plans to attend the 2013 Missouri Valley Conference Women's Basketball Championship, go to www.historicstcharles.com or call 800-366-2427. Back and forth they go here in Evansville. Colt Ryan and his teammates have watched a tough Indiana State team hang in. It's a one-point game at the break. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Our chat with Greg Lansing, brought to you by the St. Charles, Missouri Convention and Visitors Bureau. When making plans to attend the 2013 Valley Women's Basketball Championship, go to www.historicstcharles.com or call 800-366-2427. The Missouri Valley Conference. Great basketball from start to finish. Here we are on March 2nd. The final regular season game for these teams before Arch Madness. Coventry Healthcare proudly presenting the second half of the Missouri Valley Conference game of the week. The winner here has at least a four seed in Arch Madness depending on the outcome of Northern Iowa, Illinois State, could end up with a three. Northern Iowa wins tonight. The Panthers will be the three. These two teams battling it out. We could see them again. Northern Iowa wins. We'll have a 4-5 game on Friday of Arch Madness as Taylor grabs the rebound for Evansville. Ryan with the bounce pass to Muscovicius, and an offensive foul is called. The foul of the on Igidius. Tom, this is called sacrificing for your teammates. Christian Smith taking it full front with the big fella coming in. And Mahern scores around Muscovicius. First lead for Indiana State. By one here in Evansville. Cox with the miss. Taylor able to come up with it. Full drive. And dish. And an offensive foul called against Wing. Mahern was there to take the blow. You have got to be tough to play defense for Greg Lansing. He instills it in his players, and his players buy into it. As you've seen the last couple of possessions, guys not afraid to step in and take the charge. Indiana State with a one-point advantage on the road. Sycamores have struggled in Valley play, losing four straight in conference. Can they find it right before Arch Madness? Brown to Mahurin. And a travel call on RJ. Called on the other end is Evansville. The foul on the Sigma tries Sigma to Sigma get this Sigma lead Brown. right back. So you see the turnovers. The team's first. And Ryan with the miss at close range. Muscavich just can't get it. Smith now with it for Indiana State. The momentum has shifted in this game. Odom dishing back to Brown for three. How about that pass? He is so good at knowing where his teammates are at all times. Ryan makes one. Mid-range. 
mid-range jumper. 41-39 in favor of Indiana State. As the foul is called on Evansville inside. They're going to get Taylor. Let's look at Jake Odom. Well, most players would leave their feet and commit a turnover, but he knew where Brown was going, so when he left the ground, he knew exactly where to throw it. So Taylor, with three fouls, has to come out of the game. Mahurin misses. Cox controlling it, taking it in. Lost it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Aces. And you mentioned Taylor goes out of the game. Cox comes in. Cox actually leads the conference. Assist to turnover ratio. Moscovichus with the basket. The soft touch from the big man. Odom inside to Mahurin. That one's whistled and a foul is called on Muscavichus. The 6'10 freshman picks up his third foul. Frontier Communications in its first year as the presenting partner for the MVC Fan Hangout during Arch Madness. The MVC Fan Hangout, located at the Sheridan St. Louis City Center, is the perfect gathering place before and after your game. For additional information, visit archmadness.com slash fans. We'll have thousands of them in St. Louis starting on March 7th, this coming Thursday, running through Sunday. It's shaping up to be arch madness at its best. Mahurin with the free throw. Indiana State by two. him make that and you know he's made that cut thousands of times over the last four years uncanny Cole Ryan with 15 Odom is able to give it up to Brown shot clock at 12 Brown falls down and a travel call against Devontae Brown the movement without the basketball, it's poetry in motion. The catch and the shoot and the delivery. I could watch him all day, Tom. I'm telling you, it's, it's a thing of beauty. And, and what Marty Simmons has taught this young man and what he has learned over these last four years is just simply incredible. There he is again on the other side, splashes it. Cold Ryan with 17, tied for the game lead with this man, Odom, to Cummings. And they're going to say that he stepped on the out-of-bounds line. He'll go back the other way. Footwork is the key to a good basketball player. The previous possession, Colt Ryan came and turned the opposite way. There he pivots it on his right foot. If you're going to be a good player, you've got to have good feet. Colt Ryan has great feet. Evansville has the lead back by two. Cox brings it up the floor with Taylor on the bench with three fouls. No. Rebound yanked down. Cox for three. Fighting inside is Jones. No. And the whistle inside. 
Paul Ryan from the left side and from the